Hello, everybody, and welcome to Borderlands 2, a game where you shoot to get loot in order to shoot better to get better loot. Joining me on this adventure is my Aunt Hope, my Uncle Frank, and my grandfather, who we lovingly refer to as Poppy. Now, we're going to be playing through this. This is going to be a multiple session thing, multiple videos. So I hope you watch, like, subscribe, and enjoy. Then we have a cutscene, which we watched because even though we've played through the game multiple times before, we still appreciate the story. No, oh, but we did see him, like, kind of slip into becoming psychotic and hating bandits because the bandits are what betrayed him, after all. The bandits Poor are what killed his wife. Did the bandits betray him? No, the bandits didn't kill his wife. His siren daughter being born killed his wife. And then his daughter killed herself to be a pain in his butt. Not yet. I love this specific part of the, the scene. 2000 Games presents. Now, just a moment ago, he got his head knocked in. Pretty darn good. Where'd he get that? Out of his butt like they normally do. I was about to say. Yeah. Oh. Ain't that the truth? I, I mean... I mean, look at that. He didn't yeah. pull those out of his butt. He pulled those he pulled out, out of thin air. Well, that or the front of his pants. He looks like the kind of guy who has enough room in his pants to be able to hold two big guns. And here we begin. We've just almost been blown up, but not quite blown up enough. We receive our echo device from Claptrap, and we head on in to begin the story. Claptrap foreshadows what is about to happen to him in about five minutes. Foreshadowing. So five minutes happens, and then Claptrap gets his eye pulled out by a bully mong. Who knew, right? We collected our singular pistol from the cabinet, and off we go. We walk through a bit, looting, killing things, you know how it is, Borderlands. Okay, now here we are at the Knuckle Dragger boss fight. Now, we... Just shot him until he was dead, so there's not much exciting happening, but, you know, here you go. Where is it? It's, it's, it's there. Oh, I sure don't see it. That's because he's up. Poppy, you're in the wrong area. Over here, Poppy. Tell me about it. Over, behind you. Turn around. Jamie, follow. Miss Grenades. I would love some Grenades. Wouldn't they be useful? They would be quite. But they'd be a bit too useful this early. <laughs> so we kill Knuckle Dragger and then we're reminded of the comedy of the 2009 era. Oh man, remember back now. remember back when this was the pinnacle of humor? Not really. But I do remember it being funny when we played. Well, it was nice knowing you. So after we go through the doorway, we start running up on Liarsburg, where we have to kill some stuff in order to get Hammerlock to shock Claptrap, so that way we can continue with the story. <laughs> after we killed everything, Claptrap gets shocked, almost dies, sadly, only almost, and then Hammerlock fixes him up, and then starts spouting exposition. Jack is looking for it. Charming fellow, isn't he? Spouts drivel about bringing peace to the frontier, then shoots unarmed men, women, and children like it was going out of style. Ah, I'm spouting exposition again, aren't I? Apologies. Now, here's my favorite part of the story, where we go and we do side quests.
moved on to the spots where we get to defend Claptrap from dying, even though he's he's been shown to be invulnerable. We then went to kill the notorious boss Boom Boom, which turned out to be two people. That didn't sound like English. Ha! Got in there before you did, Hope. I, I just did. Thank you. Then we fought through a couple of more scenarios on our way to rescue Claptrap. bug gets Claptrap to be stuck, making him the most annoying bugger ever because when we spawn back in, we had to go all the way back to where we just were. On the elevator. Shoot him. Doesn't work. The only way to no, do it is... so much shoot. fun. He's, he's joined. I made sure he joined. The real is... Frick! We're all the way back here. We then went through the process of killing Captain Flint. Ow. Oh, oh dear. Let's turn up the heat! We go to use the catch ride station so we can get a ride to Sanctuary, but it turns out that that's the catch ride is on lockdown, so we have to go and salvage a piece off of the robots. After collecting our catch ride vehicles, we decide to call it a night. 
I hope you enjoyed this little video. I'm going to be doing this with uh, with the rest of our Borderlands 2 sessions. We're going to play all the way through. We're going to be doing a bunch of side quests. And if we get far enough, we're going to be doing the DLC missions. We play once a week. So these videos will come once a week. I will try to get more of those uh, those mag dump videos out if I can. I got to get more clips first. So uh, no promises, but I will attempt to uh, do that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, please feel free to subscribe. If you're coming back anyway, you might as well. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.